Hi everyone, I'm Bob Gallo. I'm director of the Institute of Human Virology at the University of Maryland School of Medicine in Baltimore. I'm really sorry that I'm not able to be with you at this terrific meeting organized by my good friend and colleague, Ray Skenazi. I am pleased, however, that Jose Esparza, president of the Global Virus Network, or GVN, is able to be there representing the GVN. Also, Ray is representing the GVN in a way, not only Emory, because he's a member of the GVN Board of Directors, and he's a member of the GVN Zika Task Force. In fact, several speakers at this meeting are members of our task force as well. Zika is a perfect example of why my colleagues and I co-founded the GVN. The concept of GVN began back in the 1980s, when a small group of us realized that virtually no working virologist had a global directive for researching the cause of AIDS during the earliest years of the epidemic. Conversely, some important organizations uh, that did have some responsibility for combating the new disease had virtually no resident expertise in this particular kind of virus, namely a retrovirus subsequently shown to be the cause of AIDS, of course, HIV. It was following a presentation really an alarm that was brought out by the great epidemiology virologist James Curran, who then was at CDC as head of their AIDS program as it was this pandemic was developing. Uh, Jim is now dean of the Roland School of Public Health here at Emory University. It was from his lecture on that my lab began to look for the source of the cause of AIDS. This type of chance, however, should not be the case again examining the history of other great epidemics of the 20th century, like influenza and polio and some others, sometimes really revealed similar situations between available expertise and the need to understand the cause and develop uh, practical approaches to that cause. GVN centers with strong working relationships among them are poised to engage in any outbreak situation by providing the world's only network of top basic medical virologists from all around the globe and covering every class of human viral threat. GVN is also committed to training the next generation of medical virologists in order to meet the critical need posed by the graying members of our own discipline and to inform and educate policymakers and members of the public about the role of medical virologists in mitigating viral disease and to preventing infections from taking hold in populations, as well as providing advice to governments and to health officials around the world. It's especially important, as my colleagues and I had noted, that an inadequate number of young trained medical virologists are entering our field. It is in this light my colleagues and I voted to present an annual GVN Award for Scientific Excellence. It was a unanimous vote when deciding who would receive the inaugural award. It is my great pleasure that Scott Weaver will be the first honoree. Scott Weaver is not only a leader in the GVN, but he's an exceptional public health virologist who is most deserving of this recognition. A warm congratulations to you, Scott. Thank you.